It's my feel good breakfast show. Thank you very much for that. Now, new visa regulations which come into effect today will affect all children under the age of 18, regardless of their nationality, when they're traveling to and from South Africa. Now, under 18, travelers who arrive in South Africa or attempt to leave without the required documentation can be detained or be deported immediately. So, what are the new rules? Now, with us on the line to give us all the details is Ministerial Spokesperson for the Department of Home Affairs, Mr. Maithome Chwete. Thank you very much for taking our call this morning, sir. Uh, good morning, Dr. Thank you for having me. Now, first things first, why has the government decided to change these visa regulations uh, with regard to 18-year-olds and uh, those that are, that are younger than them? Well, it was, it was the law. Um, the regulations are, are just a means of us um, having the, the, the ability to implement the law. The Children's Act that came in um, some, some, a couple of several years ago uh, clearly states that the, the, its, its intention to try and manage the issue or fight the issue of child trafficking mm -hmm. and uh, protect the most vulnerable people in our society, which is uh, mining. So the, the, for a long time, we hadn't, we hadn't had regulations that closed that loophole, that made it, uh, we had, uh, regulations that made it quite easy for a child to, to travel in and out of the country without the consent of the parent, the part of us not even knowing who the parent is for mm -hmm. South African children. So we had to put in regulations that, that made the law uh, implementable. Yeah. And so who exactly do these new regulations affect directly? They, they affect minors leaving the country mm -hmm. and minors coming into the country. And exactly what will parents with children under the age of 18 need to do in order to ensure their safe travel to and from South Africa? I suppose the issue here is if your child is not, if you're not, if you're traveling without your child, with, uh, if your child is traveling without the parent, mm -hmm. then uh, the parent that's on the birth certificate would have to give consent for that child to travel. Yeah, and I understand um, that also. And yes. if you're, yeah, and if you're traveling with as a, as a, as a, as a child is traveling with one parent mm -hmm. and the other parent is, um, is, is divorced or they they they, they divorce, they must get the, the, the consent of the parent that's uh, not there. But if, if a single parent is alone on the birth certificate, uh, no consent is required and if she's traveling with um, if the child is traveling with that parent who's on the birth certificate, no other consent is required. Yeah. We just we just work off um what what details are on the birth certificate. If it's two mm -hmm. parents, then the consent is needed from two parents. If it's one parent then that's 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 all that's needed. Now, I understand that all children born in South Africa after the 14th of March 2013 were issued with a valid, unabridged birth certificate automatically that was free of charge as well. Now, what exactly is this for those that don't know? What is an unabridged birth certificate? And uh, for those that don't have it yet, what should they do to get one? Well, yeah, as you said, in uh, 2013, we modified our systems and began um, um, issuing birth certificates um, on the spot. Now, in the past, South Africa did this, this odd thing of having an abridged birth certificate. Mm -hmm. The abridged birth certificate only had the details of, of, uh, of, um, of, of the child. So uh, we didn't know who the parent was, and the child could leave with anybody in the country as long as uh, you know, they had passport, they could leave with anyone. Now, what we're introducing now is what many countries just refer to as a birth certificate. Mm -hmm. They don't call it an unabridged birth certificate. They just refer to it as a birth certificate. This is a, a, a certificate that has the details of either both parents or one of the parents who, who, regist who yeah. registered the child. Well, Mr. Chad, um, unfortunately, we have run out of time this morning, but we will, of course, refer everyone who would like to get more information to the, the, the Department of Home Affairs' website, which is www.daha.gov.za. Thank you very much for taking our call. Thank you. All right. Well, here's a little bit of a fun segment for you this morning. A man who's perfected the art of animal calls so surprisingly that he might actually be able to speak to them. We don't know, but here's the story.